Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking to women this morning, asking women how do they shoot their shot. Now, this conversation comes from all a the couple single of women reasons. here at The Breakfast Club. One, there was a video that was uh, went viral the other day about this woman. She was in the gym trying to shoot a shot with a guy in the gym, and the guy paid her no mind. The other was Suki Hana and Cameron, where Cameron felt like Suki Hana was kind of throwing him subliminals. Let's hear it. I ain't know a bitch was trying to be subliminal with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there driving. <laughs> you mind if I get if I put my Bluetooth on? I guess I was playing too much Nas and yeah. <laughs> and, and Hov and all that too. Yeah. Yeah. So then this song comes on. She says, "I mean the nigga ass. I mean the ass." <laughs> then we switch. Now I'm his ass. It's not saying. Are yeah. you trying to tell me? Because <laughs> look, let me tell you something about me real quick. I let you get in the gooch. That's yeah. as far as you go. Yeah. When I say the gooch, that's under the. Don't touch my ass, yo. I'm not. Don't turn me on. Don't. I'm not, and I know. Listen now. Have I got my ass before pause? When I was a teenager, and listen. Yeah. And when a ate my ass, my yeah. legs wasn't up, and I was now on my knees. And then when I came to work this morning, I was talking to the birthday girl from Simmer, and we were talking about how she shoots her shot. And Sim, can you jump to the mic? Sim. Big, I call her Sim Single. Sim Single. <laughs> Sim Single. So, so, so Sim, how do you shoot your shot when it comes to, to a gentleman? I mean, I just gave eye contact three times. You have glasses on, Sim. Big, thick prescription glasses. So it draws attention to my eyes, You no? look like sexy red and around then, the eyes. shut up. <laughs> and then when I go out and I put on makeup and stuff, I don't have my glasses on. So you can't even everything. see, so you just squint. <laughs> so now you're staring the hell out the man. You're just squinting at the man. The man like, what is, what is going on here? You make eye contact three times. Because if you make eye contact once with somebody, that mm -hmm. might just be an accident. Then if you look away, like if you're not interested in someone and you make eye contact once, you're going to make sure you never lock eyes again because that's just awkward. You do twice or three times, that means come over here. You know the problem with you women nowadays? And this is coming from you Uncle Shala. Uh, first of all, black men don't cheat. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeezy says real niggas don't cheat. Right. Whatever it is, black men don't. Whatever it is, mm -hmm. we don't cheat. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't even taking into consideration that woman in the gym. What if that man was married? What if that man was in a Facts. relationship? That's why he don't got just... no business looking at you making squinty eyes or googly <laughs> eyes or whatever the hell it is you're doing. He's not. He's ignoring you Correct. because he might be in a relationship. Did anybody ever think of that? Did oh. that ever cross any of these women's minds? Or he might be gay. Or he might be gay. The sense of entitlement that women have is crazy to me. That's not entitlement. That is I very feel much like, entitlement. I feel like eye contact is You might be making eye subtle. contact with a married man, Sim. But it's not lusty. It's just eye contact. If you're available, you can come over here. If okay. you're married and you mind your business, you made a great choice. Okay. So what I feel like that's the most but shouldn't subtle you be way looking you can for show rings it. and stuff first before you start just looking at the man. I mean, if he's on the other side of the right. club, or other side of the venue, you can't see that. She can't see anything. Are you period. Right? You see how thick her glasses are. Touche. And go. also, I tell you another thing. The truth to the matter is, and y'all don't want to talk about this either. The Me Too movement ruined a lot of that. What you mean? Because we live in a world where no men are going to shoot their shot anymore because they don't want anything to be misconstrued. Nobody wants mm. to be accused of sexual harassment. Nobody wants to be accused of making a woman feel uncomfortable. So if you are in a setting like the gym, if you are interested in the dude, maybe you should make the first move, ladies, and keep it simple. Walk up to a person, you know, ask them if they're in a relationship, ask them if they're available. If they are, give them your number. Or y'all exchange numbers. Don't leave it up to the man. Because nowadays, man, men is taking extra precautions. That's right. Well, you know, since fact. you're having a shindig tonight for your birthday. So what you should do, if you see a gentleman out there, uh, Mercedes, Mercedes is coming too, so y'all both single, so y'all both I can do this together. I'm going to let Mercedes get chose, but I'm going to just Mercedes, relax. Mercedes, tonight. my sister, if you see somebody out there that, that y'all like, y'all should you should approach him and say, hello, how you doing? Mercedes going to stand before you because she's six foot nine. You know but what? That's why I told Envy. I said Mercedes going to stand out, so yeah, she's going to she, get a man tonight for sure. Jesus Mercedes, Christ. six foot nine. We love you, Mercedes. With a size 11 shoe and All right, let's go to the phone line. What's wrong with you, man? Hello, she does not wear size 11. Hello, good morning. Hi, how are you? Hey, Jessica, good morning. So, let me just get right into it. The way how I shoot my shot with dudes, first and foremost, side notes, girls do way too much. Like, a lot of dudes don't be having self-awareness, so I just go straight for it. So, I have to use, I go up to a dude that I find attractive, and, you know, I act like I'm picking up the keys, and I'm asking them, asking him, so... Are you your keys? And he looks at me and say, no, these are not my keys. And I'm like, okay, perfect. Now I have a reason to speak to you. Then he smiles, and then I compliment his smile, and we go from there. 
Okay. Okay. I, I so so this, you walk up to is, a man and you kick a little joke. This is her making the first move. This is what okay. I think women should do in 2023. Women should make the first move. All right. Well, let me let me go to another line. Let's say uh, Colette. Hello, who's this? I think this is Colette. Colette, this Hi, your... my name is Colette. Okay, Colette, how, how do you shoot your shot with a dude? Well, I don't shoot my shot with dudes. I date women. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I... Well, WNBA exists too, ma'am. So how do you shoot your shot? <laughs> it's really not shooting my shot, per se, because I'm a... I need a em- deep emotional connection, and, and it's got to be intellectual. And most women are in the in the head anyway. You know, it's for the men, it's in the penis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So, so you usually, I'll, huh? So what do you do? How do you do it? Oh, um, usually it's just getting to know them. And usually they're ready a lot sooner before I am. But I just, you know, and sometimes it just comes over me and I look at the person and I'm like, okay, I'm in love with you now. <laughs> you just so look at a person it. and say, I'm in love with you now? After knowing them for a long period of time. Oh, I'm about to say, that's toxic as hell. No, you no, walking up on random people talking about No, no, you. what I'm saying is you want to have the relationship first. But I need a deep emotional connection. So after having a long uh, relationship with them platonic, I'll also yeah, yeah, look yeah, at no, them and no, say, okay, I'm we, in love with you we now. Un- we understand everything you're saying, Queen, but I'm talking about before we get to that. Yeah, you got to you know, talk what's to the, What's the first initial oh, steps? Yeah. Well, Colette, are you the... Can you I say know, stud? Can, you can use the word stud or no? Yeah, you can say stud. Colette, are you the I stud? Uh, yeah. No, I don't... No, I don't male identify. I, I have a very masculine presentation, and I, I have always had that Hold as a child. You from a child to an adult. I ain't Sorry? even trying to get into all this. I just want to know, how do you <laughs> shoot your shot, man? I'm how not a stud. I need to see the stud, man. <laughs> <laughs> she said she comes off masculine. She said she comes off as a masculine. Okay, let me try to explain this. When you first meet a person. Correct. You're in the club. Yes. How, how do you, you talk? How do you person? kick it to gotcha. Usually, there's a phys- it's got to be a physical attraction at first. And you know what? I usually shoot my shot with humor because women love humor. I wouldn't talk to you. you and uh, you take and too much time. You take it too much time. <laughs> right. I, well, yeah, That's no. what I'm saying. You I, s- I don't talk to dudes. <laughs> right. Colette, are you single? <laughs> At the moment, yeah. Yeah, figured it. All right, thank you, mama. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. No, nah, I mean, because it, it's... You just ask her how you shoot a shot, and she's going to tell you 13,000 things to do, but nothing to shoot a shot. No, she probably got ADD. She sound like that little boy you showed me on that, <laughs> that meme yesterday, that little boy. All he asked him was, what, he want bananas and chocolate? He just started talking about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> That's what she sounded like to me just All now. right, well, 800-585-1051. We're just asking women, how do you shoot your shot? Let's discuss this The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're asking women, how do they shoot this shot? This conversation comes from a viral video I seen on, on social media yesterday. A woman was in the gym trying to shoot a shot with a guy she was working out with, and he paid her no mind. And then Sukiana, she said this when she was in the car with Cameron, and Cameron kind of feels like it was a subliminal. I ain't no bitch was trying to be subliminal with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there driving. <laughs> you mind if I, get, if I put my Bluetooth on? I guess I was playing too much Nas and yeah. <laughs> and, and Hove and all that too. Yeah. Yeah. So then this song comes on. She says, "I mean the nigga ass. I mean the ass." <laughs> then we switch. <laughs> now I'm his ass. And I said, "Are yeah. you trying to tell me?" Because <laughs> look, let me tell you something about me real quick. I let you get in the gooch. That's yeah. as far as you go. Yeah. When I say the gooch, that's under the. Don't touch my ass, yo. I'm not, don't turn me on. Don't. I, and I know, listen. Now, have I got my ass before pause? When I was a teenager? And listen. Yeah. And when I <laughs> ate my ass, my yeah. legs wasn't up and I was now on my knees. So we're asking 800-585-1051. Women, how do you shoot your shot? We got Sajada on there. Is that, is that your name, Sajada? Yes. Hey, Sajada. How do you shoot your shot, mama? So I don't shoot my shot. I'm a, you know, girl's girl, and I feel like the guys just to shoot, shoot their shot because I don't chase. I'm the catch. You what? Oh, she said she doesn't chase. She's the catch. Yeah, mm-hmm. but but you know, a lot of men don't feel comfortable, you know, making the first move nowadays because you know we live in this world, you know, where 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 you know, especially with the Me Too movement and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Like you know, nobody wants to be accused of sexual harassment. Nobody wants to be accused of making a woman feel uncomfortable. So a lot of guys are just minding their business. You know, 
No, I mean, you know, it's nothing wrong with approaching a female and just having a conversation. What's your name? How's your day going? If she talks, then she's open to letting you shoot your shot. If not, keep going. So, Sajada, say you see a, a gentleman somewhere, wherever you go. Let's say it's a, a hookah spot, a restaurant. Let's say it's a gym. You see a handsome young man. You're attracted to him, and you, you want to holler. So you're not going to holler at all. If he doesn't holler at you, you're going to let him go. I might look his way, but if he don't catch the eye, then he just missed his shot. All right, so you give him the eye. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Sajada. No problem. And I got one question for y'all. If you, um, someone is an uh, upcoming artist, very talented, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, keep God first, stay humble, and keep working. All right. That was mad generic. So that was like the dude shooting shot. That's all you can do. Like, keep God first, stay humble, keep working. Tatiana. Yes. Good morning. Where you calling from? I'm calling from Jersey. Jersey. All right. Now, now, how do Jersey women shoot their shot when it comes to men? Or well, comes to anybody? <laughs> when it comes to me, if I see somebody I'm in, interested in or if I'm at a, out at a restaurant, mm-hmm. I'm going to send them a shot awesome. and mm-hmm. give them a stare and give them a look. Oh, so you're going to send them some liquor? Yes, sir. Okay, I see. I like that. I like any woman making the first move. I feel like nowadays women should make the first move because that keeps you know uh, everything. That keeps that keeps things not being that keeps things from being misconstrued. I think I said that right. Mm-hmm. That keeps situations from being misconstrued when the woman makes the first move. Hey T. Hey. Good morning T. Do you shoot your shot when it comes to men? How do you shoot your shot? I just smile, you know, and then I'm just straightforward, you know, asking if they're single and stuff. But I'm not going to ask, like, off the first week, you know, for a couple of days, or even maybe a couple of weeks, I'll smile, you know, and then come and ask. So let's say you meet this gentleman in the club, so it might not be a second day. This is going to be the only time you see this gentleman. How, how are you going to shoot your shot, mama? Hey, what's going on? You know, I'm just asking how they're doing and asking if they're single. You know? That's it. So you pull it straight up. That's it. Yeah, Keep yeah. it simple. It's no need to complicate any of this. I am with you. Women, go ahead and make the first move. It's not hard. Find out if the guy is single. Find out if he's not in a relationship. Give him your number. Exchange numbers. Go on about your day. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Crystal. Hey. From, um, South Carolina, 843 Charlemagne. 843, we hey, out Crystal. here. What's happening? How you shooting your shot, Crystal? I think that um, the way that I shoot my it's just like giving a guy a smile, maybe a little wink. You know, I think that should be enough to let a man know that you know, you're interested and you want to come talk to them. Because I was always taught to never look too thirsty for a man, you know? I don't mind the smile and the okay. wink, man. See, this is dope. This is we getting back to old school ways of doing things. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You let the woman make the first move, a nice little smile, a nice little wink. I don't even got a problem with the woman walking up like, yo, let me mm-hmm. get your number. You single? You in a relationship? Okay, let's exchange numbers. Yeah. That's my moral. The moral of the story is make the first move. Tell people how you feel. Stop being so scared of rejection. Stop feeling so engulfed with thoughts that aren't even yours. And stop wasting your damn time. All right. Well, when we come back, we got your rumor report, so don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.